it is Danny and welcome to this updated video this morning. I hope that you have been enjoying your day and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the Caribbean with the disturbance in the area as well as that shaded area of the southeastern U.S. coast. Now, if you notice with that Caribbean disturbance, it is now highlighted in orange and no longer in red. So that means that there has been a slight decrease in the formation chance. So we're going to be talking about it and uh, this is not the time to let down your guard if you're in the areas that are likely to feel impacts, Jamaica, Eastern Cuba, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos Islands and the Bahamas. It is not the time to let down your guard to say okay no development so that means that this is not going to be as bad. It is going to be as bad because even if development took place or development still takes place over the coming days the concern is not going to be the wind it is going to be the water the heavy rainfall that will be unleashed so we're going to be talking about that and we'll be looking at what some models are expecting euro icon as we're going to be heading into the latter of this week in terms of the rainfall activity the rainfall totals for jamaica and the surrounding areas to be impacted by this so let's go on to the satellite imagery and right now we can definitely see that there's all that activity over in the western caribbean so there's that blob of all of that deep convection down there associated with the disturbance and uh, there is also a lot of a lot going on in the vicinity of florida as well as the northwestern bahamas so with all that activity moving out we may see something try to form but there is a very low chance of that happening so as of right now the national hurricane center is designating only a 10 percent chance of development uh, it is not expected to acquire the characteristics to be classified as a tropical cyclone maybe a subtropical cyclone there's a chance of that happening who knows let's see what happens as we head uh through today and into tomorrow but as of right now the national hurricane center designates only a 10 percent chance of development but regardless a lot of heavy rainfall is likely today across portions of florida as well as the northern bahamas so those areas are likely to experience a lot of heavy rainfall and that could trigger flooding as well across many spots so uh, please take the necessary precautions and be safe if you're to be or if you're being affected by the system but going back into the caribbean right now looking over into the east we can see that things are pretty much dry uh, compared to the west i mean maybe there are some showers moving through at times but for the most part conditions are more stable over there there is some dry air moving in as well so not a whole lot of activity is going on right now all the way from hispaniola through to the lesser antilles uh and back into the abc islands we're not seeing where much is happening this morning and so now let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall forecast for today so there we can see that uh this is from euro and the more colorful this becomes the more rainfall activity is expected so across southern florida and into the bahamas there we can see those purple and burgundy shadings a lot of heavy rainfall is likely as we head through today guys as i said flooding will be uh, likely across some areas and there could even be periods of heavy rain across much of cuba central and western cuba as well as the cayman islands at times and even for jamaica so all that activity associated with the disturbance is kind of dominating the southwest caribbean so some of that will start to move in across portions of jamaica today and there could be some periods of some heavy downpours but not going to be the case for all of the island for today but as we head to later this week especially to friday that is when we could experience those uh the heaviest rainfall from the disturbance and that's likely to trigger flooding and even landslides over in central america near the caribbean coast of the yucatan uh, parts of mexico going toward belize and even into guatemala we're seeing that a lot of rainfall is also likely some decent downpours there even uh, for the keys and the bay islands of honduras going through honduras itself parts of nicaragua costa Rica, Panama, and into northern Colombia, we can see that a lot of rainfall is definitely likely there. And there could even be a lot of heavy rainfall for the islands of San Andreas and Providencia as well as we go through today. A whole lot not expected for Venezuela, but uh, there is some activity coming in 
from the Atlantic and that could induce some periods of heavy rains across sections of Guyana and even toward Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada and the Grenadines and that can actually trigger flash flooding. So please be safe for the ABC Islands, a whole lot of activities not expected today. And then as I said earlier, we don't see a whole lot going on but there could be some passing showers, similar story as we head toward the Turks and Caicos Islands. Now, in terms of the Caribbean disturbance, last night, the chance dropped in the uh, 7 p.m. update. It dropped to 60% and in the 1 a.m. update this morning, 50%. So there is a chance that in the 7 a.m. update, it will be down to 40%. Uh, but regardless, as I said, the concern is going to be the rainfall. And why is the chance decreasing, you may ask? We're going to be looking at that in a moment. But we can see that airflow pressure just offshore of Panama that will be making a curve up to the north and moving generally to the northeast under the influence of the low pressure areas north of the Caribbean. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the conditions out there. First off, sea surface temperatures are very warm. We're seeing 30 degrees Celsius, 29 degrees Celsius. That is helping to boost that thunderstorm activity, but that's not the only factor. As those thunderstorms develop, what's going on in the atmosphere up there? Let's head on to this map. This is depicting the wind shear, where we see those red lines that is indicating strong wind shear, those strong upper level winds, which displace activity and prevent development. So we can see that that's prevalent across much of this map, just a small pocket in the southwestern Caribbean right now, we're seeing with some of those yellow and green shadings. But for the most part, the shear is quite strong and unfavorable to support development. So it's unlikely that we're going to see a whole lot become of the system. But as I said, that's uh, development in and of itself is not necessarily the concern right now. Let's take a look at the rainfall totals that Euro and Icon are forecasting through to Saturday evening. So starting with Euro, and here we can see it. So for much of eastern Jamaica, going toward the westerly tip of southern Haiti, and even for the easterly sections of Cuba, we're seeing some of those light pinkish and even those whitish bluish shades. So there could be rainfall totals between now and and then late Saturday, the end of this week, up to around 8 inches plus, up to 10 inches are possible or even more across some areas in total. That's going to be for eastern Jamaica. Those highest totals in Jamaica are expected in the eastern side of the island by the Euro model. And for Cuba, easterly sections of Cuba, as well as uh, the westernmost, the southwesternmost part of Haiti. But surrounding areas will be experiencing a lot of rainfall as well. There are seeing those pink shades, uh, those more vibrant pink shades, that purple shading. So much of these areas will be experiencing a lot of heavy rainfall. But the the major uh, event is likely for those areas within that lighter pink shade, that peachy shade there, and in those whites and those blues. There we have the key over to the right side of your screen. So as we head up in those colors, we are going up in the value as well, which indicates a lot more rainfall activity. So it's going to be a very wet latter part of the week. And as we take a look at what the icon model has to show, similar story here, but showing more of Jamaica within uh, that shading that could experience say six plus inches of rainfall Hispaniola Jamaica eastern Cuba a lot of rainfall activity is on the way also for the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands as well so that is what is on the horizon guys and uh, please do not take any unnecessary risks because this is a life-threatening situation here so yes there may not be a tropical depression or a tropical storm but that does not take away from the dangerous uh, the life-threatening impacts which are on the horizon so please stay safe as best as you can and i'll also be safe because i'm in jamaica i'm jamaican so i'll be safe here as well and that is pretty much it for this update so i will continue to keep you posted on what is happening and i hope you found it to be quite informative so if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weather wise.